Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Pokemon card live stream. It's time to open up some Pokemon cards. Yesterday night, you guys totally cleaned out all of my Unified Minds. I'm so out of them. But we had a deep box of Unified Minds Pokemon cards. You guys bought, you just, I don't know, you just wiped them out. It was kind of crazy, actually. Tonight, all I have left are some of the more expensive items that I sell. Really, um, the Jungle Packs are left. The... Team Rocket packs are left. I've got some Premium Powers collection boxes of Hidden Fates, but I'm trying to save those actually because when the boosters arrive for the other sets, we're going to create more of the custom, you know, where they're all mixed. I really think that's a, a lot of the fun of what we do on this channel is we get a pack from all the different sets. I'm able to assemble those for you guys. Uh, and so I'm trying not to run through my Hidden Fates packs because if I do that, we won't be able to continue to have those uh, runs. I did find these two Hidden Fates I'm sorry, I did find these two Unified Minds booster packs lying around. Uh, that was from a set that we had opened, and I'd set it to the side. Uh, but other than that, we really just don't have anything tonight other than these vintage packs. So one of the things I've done is I've weighed the packs. I, I got a scale, and I actually weighed them. I believe these are all heavy. These are all holographic cards. There was probably a, a, a Snorlax in here. There might be a Flareon in here. I don't know. Um, you know, there's... There's so many, there's so few holographic cards in the set that there's probably duplicates in here. That's what we found with the fossil set. There were actually duplicate hollow cards. Uh, I know at least the Hitmonlee was a duplicate. I think so. So there should, these should all be holographic. And I think that a fair price would be about, what do you guys think? 75, 80? How about $78 if we're counting shipping? So if anyone wants a heavy pack, it'll be $78. Alternatively, these are the light packs. So these packs probably do not have a holographic card in them. I think there is a possibility that they could have a holographic card, but it's unlikely. So if you want these, you would probably buy them three at a time, and you would buy them with all of the arts, or maybe you just want a particular art, and it would arrive, and you would get to hold a butcher pack. So if you want to hold one of these in your hand and keep it sealed, and you know have it be in your collection just as a sealed vintage pack of the jungle cards, you could do that too. But we're going to change the price on these as well. So the other packs went up to $78 each. These will drop down to, how does $55 each sound for these? I know it's still kind of high, but you know, it's a sealed booster pack, it's a vintage pack. People are always going to want to have a sealed version of this so that they can have a sealed pack in their collection. So I think that the sealed product itself is actually still pretty valuable. All right, so that's a true sealed pack. You can even send these off to PSA to be put into a holder to be graded. So you can send these off if you want. Uh, I know Sora, Sora is having me send some of the fossil packs off. Uh, I'll place these up here now. So we have heavy packs and light packs, 78 and 55 for the prices on those. Uh, we still have the rocket packs. I can't remember what the price was on these. Was it 50 or 55? I can't remember. You know, if you don't want them, you don't want them, that's fine. Uh, tonight, I will be opening up two Hidden Fates tins like I usually do. I am so close to being out of these. I don't know how many more episodes we have left. So I said, I think you said 55. Let's, uh, I tell you what, for tonight, since, since we don't have any other product, it'll be 50 for these packs for tonight uh, until we get some regular custom packs together again. So it'll be 50 for these tonight, 78 for the heavy packs. With these packs, you always get a holographic card in it, which is interesting. So these are $50 each. Your best pull would probably be the Dragonite, the Blastoise, the Charizard, and then one after that. I don't know what's after that. But yeah, the, the Blastoise, the Dragonite, and the Charizard. Those are the three good pulls. There's quite a few left in there. And that's it. That's all I have. <laughs> uh, there's individual cards I could sell. For example, this guy... I looked this guy up. He is probably going to be a very good selling card. This is a jumbo Hidden Fates Rayquaza card, shiny Rayquaza. It just looks fantastic. This is the first jumbo card I've received that actually looks really good. And I think he would sell for about $20 to $30, believe it or not. I might even have him graded. I'm tempted to grade this Rayquaza. You can, you can have the jumbo cards graded. It just is very expensive. It's like $50. Here's another thing. I have to get rid of this guy. I don't know if anyone's interested in this. Maybe I sell this guy for um, 10 bucks plus $3 shipping. Uh, this is something I won't be keeping. Oh, God. 
It's not cheap to grade those. Yeah, it's really expensive. So this is a Rayquaza statue, and I would sell him for 10 bucks if you want him. And the reason I'm selling him so cheap, because he's actually worth more than 10, the reason it's so cheap is because he's missing an arm. Yeah, so I'll kind of get in there. He's missing an arm. The A lot of the Rayquaza statues did not survive shipping, I guess. Uh, and this one did not survive shipping. It's missing an arm. However, if you kind of angle him this way, you don't really notice. If you don't care that he is a disabled Rayquaza, that he's missing an arm. If you don't care, then there's a very cheap way to get the statue. Uh, if you wanted to have the statue, of course, you probably know this. The front of the statue holds a card. Aha, it's so fancy. So you can put your favorite card there if you want. Oh, but yeah, so that's a, that's a way to obtain the... Uh, place, place this over here. That's a way to obtain the statue for much cheaper if you want it much cheaper. Because he's about... Well, mine were selling like, like that. They all sold out in a week at $20. So he'd probably only get more expensive from here. Once they stop printing him, he will probably get very expensive. That is my guess. That is my suspicion. All right, let's go ahead and get started with... Where'd my scissors go? Scissors, where'd you go? I was going to say, let's get started with this tin, but I can't find my scissors now. Oh, no, it's not in the trash pile, is it? <laughs> we'll never find it if it's in the trash pile. I'm sure I used them for shipping. <laughs> I can't find my scissors. Oh, my God. This is a train wreck. <laughs> this is straight out of hoarders. Ah, oh, you know, I bet my wife used it. I bet that's what happened. I'm blaming her, actually. She probably stole them. That sounds like something she would do. She was cleaning up today. I bet she stole the scissors for something. She probably moved them off somewhere. Let's see if I can just use my hands. I got strong hands. Ah. <laughs> I'm trying not to hit... See, I'm, I'm applying all of this pressure to the plastic, but I'm trying not to hit the camera or anything at the same time. Is actually a little bit of aerobics there. Try not to smack you guys. I'll move these over here. Yeah, my wife probably stole the scissors. I go into the other room. You hear me shouting at her. You hear somebody like getting smacked. <laughs> I laugh. Here we go. So empty tin. Tin goes over there. Really? Where are the scissors, man? Ah, she's hidden them from me, I swear to God. Okay. Four packs of hidden fates. What could they hold? Pack number one. We're still chasing shiny Charizard. Joe dude looking strong. He's so tough. He's a tough guy. All right, we have Scyther. Metapod, Magmar, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Ekans, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Clefable, and Holographic Eevee. Not a strong start. Not a strong start. Next pack. All right, next we're going to have Caterpie staring at us when we open it. No Geodude Caterpie this time. Misty's bending over, Pokemon Center Lady, Metapod, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy, Psyduck, Magikarp, Reverse Hollow Magmar, and non hollow Jolteon. Damn it! Get out of here, Jolteon. Pack number three. What are we going to hold? What are we going to find, I mean? Uh-oh. I think I saw something nice back there. I won't tell you what I saw, but it looked pretty nice. Misty, City, Cerulean, Misty, Cerulean City, Gem. I said out of order. Magikarp, Pikachu, Voltorb, Coughing, Cubone. Nice. Shiny Eevee and Onyx GX. Uh, shining, uh, shiny Eevee is actually one of the better pulls in this set, believe it or not. I think the Shiny Eevee was actually the most popular of the um, shiny cards, right? These small shiny cards. So he's going to be the best pull from the pack so far. I'll probably have him graded. I'll, I'll look him over for spacing and all that before I send him off. Okay, we got Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Crit, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Paris, Ekans, Reverse Hollow Psychic Energy, actually looking pretty good, no lines in it, and Arbok. 
Okay, so the pulls from the first 10 were a little sparse. We did get Shining Eevee, though. Could have been worse. Shining Eevee kind of makes up for it all. Got my Sharpie marker over here. Move this over here. There we go. Pack number two. Tin number two. Just looking around to see if my scissors can be found anywhere. Looking around the room with my eyes. <laughs> Uh, oh, I can't help it. I'm going to go look, guys. Give me like one minute. I swear to God. You move the scissors for me. I swear to God. It's down under the desk. Oh. Well, I'm not seeing it. <laughs> yeah, she's definitely stolen them and placed them somewhere, right? They're not back here, right? They didn't fall down? No, they didn't fall down. Hmm. Could the cats have knocked them somewhere? If the cats were playing with them, they'd be under the couch. Nope, not under the couch. Oh my god. <laughs> my wife definitely stole them and placed them somewhere. The thing is with me, I they never would have left the desk with me. Yeah, it's not over there. Well, that's too bad. Alright, let's try to rip this open. <laughs> God, it's so it's so much worse than using scissors. I break my pen doing that. There we go. She definitely stole them. I, I wouldn't have let them leave this desk. That's the thing. I'd be like, nope, those are my work scissors. So how's your days going, guys? Tell me some interesting New Year's stuff. What did you guys do? I want to know what you guys did for New Year's. Put these cars away. Did you get drunk? Did you go to a wild party? 205 says I did nothing. <laughs> I did nothing but open up Pokemon cards. Okay, here's the promo Raichu that I have a million of. You went to work. What? Just call off, man. And if your manager asks why you need to call off, just tell him you didn't feel like it. Easy. That's what I would have done. I'm still looking around for these scissors like they're gonna materialize somewhere. Walked on a canal that was frozen and walked around on it with my friends. Oh, that sounds nice. Having friends. Well, what's that like? <laughs> Whoa. Scissor fund for you. Scissor fund? Oh, my God. They're not gone. She just moved them somewhere. I promise she moved them. It's going to be her. Those are my work scissors. I would have been like... They come off of the desk, they go back to the desk. It would have been just like that, because I because I know I would need them later that night. She probably opened something up. She's like, I'll just set them here on the counter now. I didn't I checked the counters, I didn't see it though. Full tour of Geo Dude. Oh nice. Shiny Galissapod and Bill's Analysis. Still not shiny Charizard though, but is a good start. We have two of these guys now. Shiny Galissapod. Next pack. Not as good as shiny Umbreon. Buy 20 scissors and make her pay. I'm going to build the scissors and Karis will pay for it. Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Scyther, Pikachu, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Reverse Hollow Clefable, and Mewtwo GX. Not bad. Place him in a sleeve as well. Grabbing a GX card. Mewtwo is always a, one of the better looking GX cards from the set, in my opinion. 
Okay, so pack number two. Something tells me pack number two will be a dud. What do you guys think? One, two, three, four. Fire Energy, Koga's Trap, Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Coughing, Staryu, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. We actually got Shiny Furimosa, so I was wrong. What do I know? This is one of those Pokemon I don't really care for. Um, I think she's supposed to be like a bug or something like that, but I mean, it's quite literally a thin lady, and these are high heels. So I'm not a fan of the design at all. I actually think this is terrible design. Doesn't look like a Pokemon to me. But that's my opinion. You can disagree all you want. You could be like, that's my favorite Pokemon. How could you say that? It looks nothing like a Pokemon. That looks like somebody was hired to make a Pokemon and they're like, wouldn't it be cool if we made a thin lady? Yep, anorexic Pokemon. Ekans, Charmander, Brock's Grit, and Holographic Zapdos. So that wraps up the second tin. Uh, technically, by pulls, it was a good tin, but... I don't actually want Ferramosa, and I'm not sure if Galissapod's actually that good of a pull. So we have Ferramosa. Somebody wants shiny Ferramosa, probably. I need that Brock. Sure, Willix. <laughs> oh, you actually need the Brocks? You can have the Brock if you want it. We have the Galissapod shiny. This is the best pull right here that Eevee will be. And uh, the Mewtwo GX, we'll put him in the pile over here. He's probably worth about three bucks. Not the best pulls. The, the Eevee is a very good pull, though. And that's it. I'm done with my tins. All right. That's the end of the stream. Bye, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How much was the scissor fund donation? Whoa. $10 scissor fund donation. Jeez, man, you're generous. Maybe we should open up another pack. What do you guys think? <laughs> He's like, law by. What if I just open up all the heavy packs right now, right in front of you guys? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I would be... How's it going, Symphonia? He says, what's on sale tonight? Um, tonight you can buy one of these for 50 or you could buy one of these for 78 This is a heavy jungle pack, which means it has a holographic card in it. And then other than that, not really anything else. I don't think so. I mean, we could open something. We could open... If we open up a rocket box, the price of the card will still be like $120 for a pack. Uh, and same for the first edition Gym Heroes, it would be like $120 per pack. So those would be ridiculously expensive. Um, I don't know what else. We have the Premium Powers Collection. There's like 10 tins left that I'm kind of just holding on to because I'm going to keep opening them. Yeah, we're, we're out of stuff, guys. Isn't that crazy? You bought it all. You bought it all. I didn't have enough packs for you guys to keep up with demand. Sold. I want Jungle Pack, but I keep buying other things, says Wellix. <laughs> Ooh, look at that Jungle Pack. So these are the heavy packs for $78, and they have a holographic card in it. These are the light packs. The light packs are $55, and the reason you would be interested in the light packs is because you can collect all three of the pack arts and leave them sealed. You can even send them off to be graded. So... Some people like to just have the unopened pack in their collection. You know what I mean? So rather than having, you know, open open cards in your in your binder, you would actually hold these packs and you'd be like, see this pack? This is a 20-year unopened jungle pack. And people would be like, ooh, let me touch it. If I had money, I'd buy a pack and a hole for bad pulls just so I could get a dark ride. Dark ride is the best boy. Ah, you like dark ride too, huh? I got some shiny dark rides that will be sent off for grading soon. Time to buy Steelix rings. <laughs> you want me to make a Steelix ring? My wife and I are trying to learn a little bit about product design because we are thinking about designing rings. We are really thinking about that. I think we have a dark rye over here. He likes dark rye. Show me dark rye. Here he is. Here's a secret rare dark rye. Whoa, he read my comment. Of course I read your comment. Look at that dark rye. That's sexy as hell. Symphonia says, hmm, guaranteed heavy. Yeah, so uh, to put it in perspective, guys, for those of you who don't understand, like, whether or not you should buy a heavy pack, let's do a little bit of math. I hate math. No, I'm just kidding. Let's do a little bit of math. So these were previously $60 per pack. Remember that? $60 per pack. And now they're $78. They've gone up $18 in price. 
but they're a guaranteed holographic card. Why does that matter? It's because before, when you bought the packs, you had a one in three chances of actually pulling a hollow. You had one in three chances. Okay, so it's conceivable that you could buy three packs for $180 and have no holographic cards in it. And some people actually did this. Metalax actually got the rough end. He bought, I think he told me he bought six packs, no hollows. So he bought six times 60, which is $360, no holographic cards. You buy one of these for 78, you get a holographic card, simple. So you do, you do spend a little more for a guaranteed holographic card, but what you don't do is spend $60 for a non-holo card, see? So the, the math behind it is actually, in my opinion, much better. And I think that's probably why people end up weighing these. Uh, as, as you know, I have not opened any of these packs. So all of the good hollows are still in one of these packs, two of the packs. I don't know which ones you want, but it's pretty straightforward. One in three, well, the price only shifted up by $18. It didn't shift by, you know, it didn't shift by like 30%. It didn't shift by 60%. See what I'm saying? So $78 is still a pretty good deal on these. In my opinion, feel free to disagree. If you don't want them, don't buy them. Man, I don't have anything else to do. Um, we could talk about things. You guys want to talk about things? I've got like a million play mats. I never listed them. I should list them. Did you clean up the room? I have not cleaned up the room. I'm thinking about leaving the room dirty to see how tall the trash pile could be and then to like share an epic trash pile picture. It's actually really cool. I'm tempted to open up another rocket pack for myself. Uh, the reason why is because every rocket pack has a holographic card in it. So it would be cool to pull a... Uh, I would love to pull the Dragonite myself. What do you guys think? Nah, nah. I'll leave those for you guys. Because if I do pull a Dragonite, then that lowers your chance of pulling a Dragonite. So it would be a bad idea. That's, that's why I'm trying not to pull the vintage packs for you guys. I'm, I'm trying not to do that. I think it's more fun. Tick, talk about Tic Tac UFO that USA Jet Pilot followed last year. Mailman still an issue. Uh, yes, so yesterday... Well, technically two days ago, the mailman was supposed to pick up my mail. He didn't pick up my mail, so I have a bunch of packages waiting to go out. There was no mail pickup today, so I can't fault him today. I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. Probably drive to the post office. I have a box to pick up at the post office anyways, so I'll probably do that. But yeah, we can look at some of the cars I have to sh uh, send off to PSA. I have some cars to send off to PSA. We got Eevee now. He's going to look nice. Ferramosa. I don't know. Should I grade the Ferramosa? PSA returns. Not yet. Pretty soon, I'm guessing. Golisopod. I should grade him. I don't know if I'll grade Noibat. This guy should probably be graded. Zorua should probably be... Oh, he'll definitely be graded. Espion and Deoxys. Deoxys? I pulled this with um, on TikTok. That's why I did. Another Golisopod. I just pulled a Golisopod. Malamar... Rayquaza, Solgalia. Yeah, we've seen this pile before. This is my sexy pile of cards that I pulled out of the tins. These are all the cards I pulled out of the tins. Really good ones, right? How are the cards today? Translation, how was your day today? Pretty good. Articuno, man. Yeah, we got to get these graded. I want to send some of my Onyx and Steelix, but not sure if they would do well at PSA. Um, what you could have me do is next time I open a card you want graded, just ask me to evaluate it live. I can take a closer look at the cards when you guys pull them, for sure. Uh, I got a bunch of bulk holographic cards. I'd be willing to sell these in bulk for... I don't know. I've got a whole bunch of them. Ten cents each, maybe? But I don't know if anyone wants bulk holographic cards. I've got a bunch of bulk reverse holo uh, cards as well, and I'd probably sell these in bulk for about 10 cents each as well. 205 says, I would just get some Ultra Pro Magnetics for your cur current Onyx Steelix. I have these goofy cards that need a, a price added to them. I don't even know what they're worth, to be honest. They all got like Ben's hat, the ones on the top do. I got my base set hollows. That's pretty cool. 
We have our stack of cards to be sent off for grading. Yeah, man. Uh, we could well, we could open up the premium powers collection boxes and just get the hidden face booster packs out of them. You guys want to do that real fast? I mean, we, we're not doing anything else. Oh, but if we do that, I want my scissors. Do I need my scissors? I don't think I need the scissors for that. Yeah, I don't think we need the scissors for that. Here, let me go grab them. Have you done research on how to unbend cards? I have not. Okay, hold on. Let me grab... I'll go grab those uh, Premium Powers Hidden Fates packs. Set this down. All right. All right. We're back. We are, in fact, back. <laughs> All right. Put this back on. What is this? Oh, oh okay. Right. These are... Oh, I saved this for Emma. Place that over there. What do we have here? Oh, we have a Burning Shadows and a Unified Minds, huh? Place this over here. Well, I tell you guys what. We have three packs of Unified Minds right here. If anyone wants these, I'll do $14 on these again. So that's 14 bucks. One Burning Shadows, huh? I don't know what to do with that single Burning Shadows pack. Okay, and now we have a number of these guys to open. See these guys? I bought these so I could pull the Hidden Fates pack out of the back. Well, that's sold right away. All right. Wellix Kiba, let's pop these open. So, ooh, I'm worried I'm gonna reveal the code card. Tell you guys what, give me a minute. Let me, let me go looking for those scissors again, okay? Give me one minute. I'm gonna go the scissors. I swear to God, I, we probably have a second pair. Okay, I, we at least have a second pair. I'll be right back. I don't want to reveal the code card by accident each time I open them. We got it, guys. We have got it. Whew. There we go. Different pair of scissors, though. Smaller, older. <laughs> no, these are these aren't the same scissors. These are a different pair. These were in the, the drawer. It's not like the pair I normally use is the only pair. Probably should have just grabbed these the first time I stood up. Whoa! Another two of the Japanese rocket packs. Hell yeah, man. Sora, I was actually tempted to buy a Neo Genesis Japanese box just for these live streams for fun. All right, here we go. This is for Wellix Kiba. Let's see what he pulls. Pack number one, one, two, three, four. Good luck. Leaf energy. We have Tornadus, Jinx, Slumbering Forest, Dredagon, Cottony, Fomantis, Sawaddle, Mary Annie, Reverse Hollow Yanma, and ladies love them, Licky Licky. What? Metalax, he says, what did I miss? You missed everything. You missed it all. One, two, three, four. Flip it around. Blues, Tactics, Fracture, Basculin, Drillbur, Slackup, Fungus, Hone Edge, Magnemite, Reverse Hollow Giant Hearth. This actually might be worth something. And Non Holographic Salazzle. Damn it, Salazzle. Last pack. One, two, three, four. Flip it 
flip this around. We got Dark Energy, Jinx, Slumbering Forest, Relicanth, Litwick, Cubone, Yanma, Young Goose, Cryogonal, Reverse Hollow Litwick, and <laughs> Non Hollow Bahiam. Oh, I'm so sorry. That was a tough one, man. Ah, oh, these modern packs, man. They make you so anxious to get a GX or a Full Art, I swear to God. But we had some pulls like this last time, unfortunately. Protect the front of that card with this code card. Code cards. Those are some rough pulls, man. Man. That was uh, Wellix. And to think, Wellix, somebody could have beat you out. They could have bought it first. <laughs> Yeah, we were always looking forward to GXs as well as GXs and Full Arts, of course. Yes, 55 for a light pack, 78 for a heavy pack. Heavy packs are guaranteed holographics. The light packs, maybe you want to try and see if there's a hollow in the light pack anyways, uh, but most likely it will be non-hollow. The real reason to buy the light packs is because you're interested in collecting... Um, the reason to buy them is you're interested in collecting the packs themselves sealed, in my opinion. So here we go. These will be for Sora. Sora buys a lot of the vintage cards, actually. And um, it's so interesting. They got this long part at the top. It's so cool. Let's go ahead and pop these open. Pack number one. So the best pulls in the Team Rocket cards, the Rocket Gang, Blastoise, Dragonite, and Charizard. The least valuable pull is probably the Weezing, if I had to guess. So this is going to be your Hollow card. I don't want you to see it. All right. And then you have your commons and uncommons. Did I throw the pack off to the side? I did. Whoa. Jungle, please. I need to sleep. <laughs> All right. We'll do you next, man. You'll see your, your pulls tomorrow. Sounds good, man. We've got Abracadabra. Uh, not safe for work, Grimer. Jolteon, which is actually a good pull. People like the Jolteon. Dark Radicate. Oops. Card behind it. We have Meowth. Gloom. These cards are stickier, man. They, they've got that gloss to them that the American cards don't have. I don't remember what this one is. I don't remember the name of this card. Hmm. I feel like I should have one right over here. Do I have a... One moment. I should know the name of this card. Do I have one right over here? Double Gust, Digger, Secret Mission. Oh, that one's called Secret Mission. What? Oh, 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 Secret Mission is from the other set. Yeah, I guess I don't have one. Weird. I know I have some up here. This is a complete set of the Rocket Commons and Uncommons, but I don't want to open that up. Let's see what you got for the rare card. You ready, Sora? All right, let's see what it is. Oof. What? No, you got the Holographic Wheezing. I said he was probably the worst of the hollow pulls, but I mean, he's still a nice card. If you want to complete your set of Japanese cards, you'll need him either way. <laughs> he says, dang, oh well. All right, so wheezing on the first pack. Let's try the second pack. There's gonna be some wheezings in there. Yeah, once again, he's not the, he's not the pull you want. He's not the Dragonite, but the nice thing about opening card packs, especially these Japanese packs, is he, he still has value, actually. People still need him to complete their set. I, I own a Dark Weezing in my set. Two of them, actually. Okay, next set. Next pack, I mean. I find it so interesting that they put the holo card in the front. Alright, without revealing the card. That will be your rare. And now we have your comments. So we've got Ratata looking very cute. I actually remember getting this as a kid and thinking it was awesome. You know why? It wasn't because he's powerful, but it was because he reminded me of the uh, Game Boy games. 
this is a very good pull. I had a PSA 10 Charmeleon from the Rocket team. Uh, it was English, it wasn't Japanese, but it sold for $75. So this guy alone, he's Japanese, he might be worth closer to 50 if he pulled a 10, but uh, hold on to that one. <laughs> Magnemite. You've got Dark Cadabra. Oops. Dratini. Porygon. This is also a really good one. So actually, your your uncommons for this pack were really good. Flareon and uh, Charmeleon are both collectible cards. People like those cards a lot. I don't know. Do some research before you send them off to be graded. I don't know how much the Japanese ones go for. Alright, let's see what's in here. The rare. You ready? Oh! You got Dark Golbat. I actually really like the Dark Golbat. Uh, I remember fighting Zubat and Golbat was really iconic for fighting Team Rocket. And uh, yeah, I, I've always said this. The Dark Golbat is one of my favorite cards from the Rocket set. He looks really good too. He's kind of middle of the pack. There's a lot of middle of the pack cards in this set, like uh, in terms of value. Like Dark Machamp is kind of middle. Um, Dark Vileplume, right? Slowbro's a little bit on the high si side. Maybe Hypno's in the middle. Uh, Arbok and Weezing are on the low side. Arbok and Weezing and maybe the Trainers are on the low side, but this guy's kind of in the middle for value. So he's not a bad pull, actually. Yeah, there's a big swirl, swirl right there. Okay, so let's set these to the side for Sora. And Sora, I wouldn't be surprised if he contacts me and tells me, hey, have those graded. Metalax wants to open a heavy jungle pack. Now, Metalax, Metalax wants to find a Snorlax. I know he does. Snorlax is one of the better pulls from that set. That's going to say Sora on it. I'll grade the hollows. All right, there we go. That makes actually perfect sense, Sora. It's the same thing I would have done. I would have also graded the hollows. You can do some research to find out if you want to grade the Flareon and the Charmeleon. Just remember, they're pack fresh. Oh, this is much smarter. If I write on the uh, if I write on the actual holders, of course, then maybe the person who's grading it will wonder who it's for, or they'll wonder why it was written that way. So I'm writing on the, the holders, and then these top loaders won't have to have a name on them. The top, loaders, uh, top loaders will remain nameless. I should have done that the first time. All right, there we go, Sora. We're opening the pack for, so this is a heavy pack now. Heavy packs are a guaranteed hollow. If this is not a hollow, I will open up another pack for him and I'll bite the bullet on that. That'll be my pack. Here we go, good luck Metalax. We're opening you a Scyth Scyther Art. If he pulls a Snorlax, he's gonna be very happy. I know he will, but there are plenty of odds that he doesn't, so. I believe it's three cars in the back. We have Lickitung, Dodrio, Parasect, Mankey, Execute, Jigglypuff, Paris, Cubone, Rhyhorn, Venonat, and Holographic Mr. Mime. In fact, it was a holographic card, just like I said. However, not Snorlax. Darn it. <laughs> Keeps trying for it, man. So it was holographic. I think there is a good chance these are all holographic. And if it's not, I would just uh, refund you your money and uh, the pack will be mine. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a pack fresh card. Okay, we'll place these back in. There we go. Did I have some that were already being shipped out to him? Oops. Got so many of those damn coins. 
No, I think I already packed up Metal Axe's winnings to be shipped out. All right, so we're going to grab him a fresh holder here. I remember having one of those, but they all disappeared. <laughs> Oops. Mr. Mime, wow, I love it. My favorite, even though it isn't the best, but I love it. You like Mr. Mime? He is one of those old classic cards, you know? Only 10 likes. Come on, guys. Yeah, what the heck, guys? Here, let me show you a... Uh, is it in this pile? I'm trying to remember what pile it's in. I think it's in this pile. I want to show you something that I'm sure you'll enjoy. So if you like Mr. Mime... Is it back here? Here it is. This is actually a really valuable Mr. Mime. He's a no-symbol error. So notice... Excuse me. Notice that one has the jungle symbol on this corner. See it? This one does not. That's because it's an error card. I don't know how much he is worth, but I know he is worth more because of that error. People kind of, they buy the jungle sets hoping to find these error cards. So, yeah, that's a, if you're looking for a good mime. I, sh I should probably have him sent off to be graded, to be honest. Yeah, I should probably have him, because even if he comes back a bad grade, people will still collect him because he's the uh, no symbol error. Mr. Mime fans. All right. Sweet. So we opened up a, two of the vintage rocket packs and one of the vintage jungle packs. And what are we going to do next? Move this trash off my table. Oh, right. We were going to open up these premium power collections. Metal Axe needs that reverse Munchlax from Wellex from last night. Oh, right. So, Wellex, if you're watching, um, because we didn't discuss it and because I was getting the shipping done, I already pulled the Munchlax out and gave it to Metalax. So now he owes you one. I don't know what he owes you. That's up to him. But uh, I did a I did a nice thing for you without your permission. <laughs> it's a reverse hollow. I don't I don't know if you're like into Munchlax. Maybe you were. <laughs> Are you showing us your gaming room sometime? My gaming room Well my tiny condo. Our condo consists of one living room and a bedroom. So I'm in my gaming room. All right, so we open this up. I have another one of these posters. I got to sell off all the posters. I tried telling you, but never got a response, but it worked out. Do Pokemon cards appreciate faster than condos? Uh, I would say they do, actually. Well, it depends on where you buy your condo. If you bought your condo in uh, California, at a certain time, then yeah, you made money on the you made a lot of money on that purchase. You know, I hear that there's uh, international homes you can buy that are making good money right now, but I'm not into that. I'm into Pokemon cards; they ship easier. <laughs> what do you want to What do you want to ship? Do you want to ship Pokemon cards or do you want to ship real estate? Think about it. Ew, these packs are so sticky. Ew. All right. So, obviously, you guys already saw this. Some of you probably used it. You know, it would be sad as if they didn't, and I just tossed it away, and it's an unused pack. So, how many how many hidden fates do we get out of this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We get seven hidden fates. So, think of that as, like, seven custom, seven custom packs. I mean, unless somebody... Unless somebody wants to buy these right now, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If somebody wants to buy all these for 45 bucks, yeah, if somebody wants to buy all, all seven of these for 45 bucks, I, I, I guess we could open these tonight if you wanted these for 45 bucks. All of these. I'll set that to the side in case somebody decides to do that. But that's it. I really don't have anything else tonight. I'm sorry. Oh, this Rayquaza card is so fancy. He's so shiny. How many? I said it was seven of them in there. Yeah, seven for 45 bucks. It's kind of, you know, 
that includes the three dollar shipping so really i'm selling them for 42 bucks okay so we got this old galio nice We got the Rayquaza. And we've got the, oh God. Oof, there it goes. We got the Lunala GX. Ooh, I'm, yeah, you guys really did run me dry yesterday. You like the Lunala? I have so many of these Lunalas. I gave one away to Symphonia for free. Yeah, I've got a bunch of these guys. Put that on my to be graded pile. Yeah, we, you guys quite literally just bought everything yesterday. I actually, it was the day before that too. That was the daytime stream. We did like a daytime stream and you guys just wiped me up. Wow, dude. All right, so, man, I'm going to be out of Hidden Fates packs, too. Wow, you guys are nuts. I wasn't sure if somebody would do it, but he's like, yeah, I'll buy them up. Oops. Holy cow. Let's go for it. Why not? You guys did run me dry yesterday. Well, I was already kind of dry yesterday. Two... Why is it so sticky? Nuts is my middle name. Nah, I'm playing. Fan, why did you point that out? Fan has a dirty, dirty mind. Bad fan. Back to the Not Safe for Work channels. Did you guys know we have Not Safe for Work channels in our main Discord? The big one? For my big channel? How many of you guys know that I have two channels, two YouTube channels? If you did not know that I have a YouTube channel with 100,000 subs, you should say so in the comment section, in the chat. I'd be curious to know. I think most of you know. I think a lot of you actually came over from my big channel. But I'm, I'm interested to know. 205 goes, I didn't know. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> I subbed to the Monster Hunter Run Monster Hunter World one first, then this one, when the nostalgia hit. Oh, that makes sense. Fan says, I hate the Not Safe for Work channel. <laughs> so here we go. We have, this is for Mahasvara. He bought all of these. Ooh, right. Well, we're probably going to see a crazy pull or two in here. One, two, three, four. Lieutenant Surge's strategy, Pokemon Center Lady, Sabrina Suggestion, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Charmander, Reverse Hollow Jinx, and Holographic, I'm sorry, non Hollow King is gone. Oh, whoa, I almost put those in my card pile. <laughs> those are not mine. These are for Mahasvara. Pack number two. I'm sure there's a pull in there somewhere, because you just bought seven of them. Pokemon wouldn't leave you hanging like that. Graveler, Farfetch'd, Jinx, Coughing, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Clefable, and Non Hollow Arbok. That's okay, we're getting the cold packs out of the way first because the awesome packs are at the back. One, two, three, four. The Shredder. <laughs> Shred the card. <laughs> Koga Strap, Misty's Cerulean City Gym, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Psyduck, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris. Charmander, Reverse Hollow Magikarp, which, by the way, you should hold on to this because it's probably a little bit collectible. Uh, okay, we've got four packs left. These are going to be the hot packs, I guarantee it. Don't worry, Mahasvara. I know you're breaking a sweat now. You're like, oh, God. <laughs> First three packs are cold. That's how it works. Misty's bending over. She's looking very determined. Giovanni's Exile, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, Ekans, Trigger Happy J. Thanks, Trigger Happy J. Nice, shiny Froki and Golem. Okay, so I was right. You did get a hot pack there. You got three packs left. Let's see what's in the three packs on the back. The three packs in the back. Hitting that. Hitting those three packs in the back. This is the pack I almost opened myself. Let's see what I would have gotten 
It's a sticky pack, so I was just getting rid of it because the actual foil on it is sticky. Star you, Ekans, I don't want that in my, you know what I mean? Making a mess. I would have gotten shiny Inke. Ah, oh, I should have gotten it. <laughs> nice, dude. That is a nice looking card. I would I would probably consider having that one graded. Shiny Inke. He looks very cute. Two packs left. Two pack. Famous Pokemon card. I like the new auction channel you have, but those guys were being silly already. Ah, yeah, they're from my main channel. He was like, you you don't know how autistic I am. And I think he was trying to be edgy with that response, but I'm like, I'm not edgy. I'm actually a server owner. Nice, shiny Kartana and Waters Mist Misty's Water Command. I'm saying it backwards. You have pulled three for three on these last three packs. Let's try the next one. All right, this is the big one. I'm feeling it. Full art, what do you guys think? You think there's a full art in this one? Josh says, as fun as this is, I actually play the TGC, so I'm used to purchasing lightly to heavy played cards and lower rarities. It's expensive building several decks. Ah, yeah, man, for sure. Misty's Determination, Pokemon Center Lady, Psyduck, Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Shiny Ryolu, and Snorlax. Strange, man, no full arts. You got four shinies out of this set. Huh. Look at that. Froakie. So it's not a bad one. That's the uh, Greninja, right? Kartana. I don't know much about Kartana. I don't know how popular he is. Inke is actually really good. I suspect this is a really nice one. And Ryolu. This is the uh, evolution for Lucario, right? Better than nothing is true. No shiny Charizard, though, huh? That's Mahasvara. Thank you for that purchase, man. I can't believe it. We just sold all the Hidden Fates. They're gone now. They're gone. <laughs> They're out of here. Whoa. Yeah, it's, I, would, I would describe those pulls as not bad. They're not, like, mind-blowing either. You didn't get, like, Dark Umbreon. It, it kind of shows you guys, when somebody does pull, like, a full art, like Dark Umbreon, it really is kind of a big moment. Because he's hard to pull. He is. You gotta go through so many cards to get one of those. Alright, Mahasvara down there. Yeah, it's not supposed to be a, a common occasion. Damn, that's a thick pack. That's a thick boy, boy. Um, if you guys want, we can pop these out as well. I'll, I'll say those are for 45, 45 bucks as well if anyone wants them. I mean, we might as well. You guys are just buying everything right now. Let's pull them out real fast. I use the same strategy. How much for the whole box with promos? Well, uh, I probably will not sell the whole box. I'm going to have the promos shipped off for grading. Place this over here. I think I might even grade the jumbo cards, to be honest with you. Yeah, I don't think I'm selling the whole box. Pop that off. Kind of building up a collection of cards to send off for grading. Shiny, Char oh, shiny Charizard is in that box. Heavy lag on your end. That's not good. Sorry about that, Oliver. Are you guys having any lag? Right, move this over here. Hard lag, huh? We'll give it a minute. Maybe it'll clean. Maybe it will clear up. I wasn't even going to sell these, to tell you the truth. Mahasvara bought them. I was just pulling these out for later usage. If you guys want them, you can buy them. This it, it will be the same deal. Forty-five bucks for these. That's three dollars shipping with them, and so really is the seven of them for forty-two dollars. Um, yeah, you're welcome to buy them if you want. I'll open the last box as well here in a minute. Oliver says it's good now, but it was it was really bad. It's my last one. Damn. Damn, you guys are wiping me out. That's Juan Aragon. I don't think I've ever sold to you before, so 
Uh, what you'll want to do in order to have the cards shipped off, you'll want to log into the Discord server. You can find a link to it in the description of the live stream. And then you'll want to contact me. You, you'll want to send me a private message uh, telling me how to ship the cards, you know, where to ship them to. Ultimate Stonks, here we go. It'll be Ultimate Stonks if he pulls a shiny Charizard, I'll tell you that. If he pulls that shiny Charizard, I don't know what the raw card's worth anymore. It's probably worth about 200. And if I had to guess, the PSA graded version of it's probably worth about 500 to 550. It's probably shifted downward a little bit ever since they announced they were going to reprint the Hidden Fates, which means there would be more in circulation. But I mean, like, think about it. 200, 500 is a no-brainer still. Oh, and this is the sticky pack. I hate the sticky pack. It's driving me nuts. I don't believe the sticky pack over there. Yes, yeah, sticky pack can be on the bottom. All right, here we go. Pack number one. Good luck, Juan Aragon. You selling the ones in that last box as well? Yes, I will be. Uh, if you guys want them. And then I will just be out of Hidden Fates too. I'll just be out of everything. Charmeleon, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Cubone, Magikarp, Geodude, Clefairy, Eevee, Reverse Hollow Water Energy, and Clefable. I'm actually going to put this in a sleeve for you. Do I have water? This is my collection. Oh, I do have water. Okay. I was going to offer you a trade for one of the other energies if I didn't have water. <laughs> Place that up here. I like the reverse hollow energy cards, by the way. I think they're very cool. They're also not that easy to pull. Like, uh, you do get them on occasion, but the thing is, to collect every energy card is very difficult, I would say. Damn, Mahasvara went ahead and purchased the next set. Damn, dude. Frick yeah, dude. Reverse hollow Eevee and non hollow Weezing for the second pack. Pack number three. A little bit of a repeat of last time. It's because I haven't had my energy drink. You guys get better pulls when I've had my energy drink. That's the truth. Star you, slow poke, Voltor, Pikachu, Ekans. Oh, you got a full art. Full art lady and Cliff Fable. So you got a full art in yours. There you go. Alright, next pack. One, two, three, four. Flip this around. I'm sweating a little. <laughs> we got Sabrina Suggestion, Metapod, Ekans, Geodude, Cubone, Eevee, Clefairy, Reverse Hollow Cubone, and Golem. So, so far you've got the Re Reverse Hollow Water and Full Art Lady. Let's see what the next pack is. This is pack number, you got three packs left. One, two, three, four. Leaf Energy. Misty's bending over, Metapod, Charmeleon, Lady looking nice, can't compare to Wick though. Oh my god, I did not expect Wick to be so popular with... Wow, you got another one, you got the sh Reverse Hollow Metal Energy, it's so nice looking. I'd check and see if I have one of those. I think I might have sold mine to... Uh... Did I sell mine to Wellix already? No, I actually have one of those as well. Okay, so I'm good on that. <laughs> I'm gonna, like offer you a trade, be like, I'll give you this one. Dang, got the energy box. Well, hold on. There's two packs left. Uh, one pack can change the whole, you, you know what I'm saying? Can change everything. Magikarp, Coughing, Clefairy, Staryu, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Slowpoke, and Erica's Hospitality. Last pack is the sticky pack at the bottom. Does the sticky pack have it? Is it the lucky pack? Let's find out if it's the lucky pack. We have Koga's Trap. Brock's Grit, Misty's Determination, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Paris, Psyduck, a Shiny Celesteela, and Holographic Eevee. So you got the Shiny Celesteela as well. Nice, man. So you are left with Full Art Lady, Shiny Celesteela, Reverse Hollow Metal, uh, metal Energy, and Reverse Hollow Water Energy. Those are your best pulls. I'll put the Lady and the Celesteela at the front. Lady, do 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 do. Is she, how old is lady? Is lady dateable? Oh God, 
Hey, baby. Hey, lady. What are you doing, lady? Do you guys remember being smaller and thinking that girls have cooties? You know why I ask? Because when I was smaller, I never thought that girls had cooties. When I was a kid, I always thought women were very attractive. And I would, even as a little kid, I'd have like daydreams of kissing girls. Because I was too young to understand how to go a little further than kissing. I remember because in cartoons and stuff like that, they'd be like, oh, boys think girls are gross. And it was confusing for me because I was a kid and I was like, girls aren't gross. Girls are hot. It's like, I like girls. I like them. Stop looting cardboard box, game economists. <laughs> what? All right, Mahas has got his fingers crossed. He thinks this is, he thinks this is the box that's going to do it. This is the life-changing box he always wanted. Could I buy that Onyx and Reverse Hollow Brock? Yeah, for sure, man. I tell you what, um, I will just give them to you. Don't don't even worry about it. Oof. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Well, it's, you get them for free. All right, this is for Mahas Faro. I'll just toss these off to the side. Oops. Get out of here. I cannot believe it. You guys just purchased all of the Hidden Fates. Like, that's it. Jesus Christ, guys. Randomly CL says, you got more boxes of these. I don't, actually. Mazvar just bought them all. Mazvar and Juan Aragon. Aragon. One. Two. Like, holy cow, guys. Chasing that shiny Charizard. I mean, I am too, to be fair. That's why I've been going through those tins. One, two, three. I like the tins because they're like, you know, they're like this perfect content almost, you know. When I do the live streams, I'm like, what am I going to do? I'm like, I'll open the tins. It's cute. You get to open the tin up. The tins are fun because you have a lot to do with your hands when you open them up. Oop. All right. Apparently, I should have ordered more of these when I bought them. I bought these. Uh, I pre-ordered them a long time ago. Oops. Here we go. Pack number one. Are you ready, Mahasvara? One, two, three, four. Flip this around. We've got Metal Energy. Chansey, Graveler, Farfetch'd, Ekans, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke. Nice. Shiny Gardevoir on the first pack. Very good, dude. I was going to say, are we going to see more of that first pack? Bad luck. There's the pull. I don't think I've ever pulled that one before, have I? Lady counts. No, I'm saying that the f I'm I'm talking about uh, the first booster pack of each box has been a cold pack, so this one was a straight up full art. It's a Ludivar. That's right, Ludivor. Ludivar. There we go. I'm not French. Get off my back. Godifla. Oui. Sabrina suggestion. Metapod. Pokemon Center Lady. Charmander. Voltor. Coughing. Ekans. Cubone. Reverse Hollow Weezing and Blaine's Last Stand. I believe this guy gets used, doesn't he? No, no, no. This guy doesn't get used. It's a different Weezing that gets used. Gardevoir has a 75% chance of being male. Uh, it's not gay. Traps are not gay. Please. Flip this around. What are you trying to say, huh? You gay bashing? Fan, you gay bashing over there? Geodude, Eevee... Clefairy, Caterpie. Oh, you got a good pull. I don't know what it is. Are you ready? Are you excited? Nice. Tapu Coco GX. And you pulled the Onyx GX in the same pack. That was a lucky pack right there. So that's what I'm saying. You don't always get good pulls in these packs, guys. So when it actually happens, it is a lucky pull, really. Tapu Coco. You should be considering grading that one. Let's take a quick look at it. I don't see any white spots anywhere. Let's check it for uh, centering. Actually.
centering might be slightly off. Yeah, centering looks like it's slightly off. I don't know how badly they judge you if the centering is off. Yeah, centering's off on that side too, just slightly. So I don't know if I would have it graded, but I mean, even if it comes back a nine, I think it would still do well. So it might be worth the risk. Tapu Coco, man. Next pack. I have to get her some time. Thanks. What? How many packs have we got left? You got four packs left. There's still time for you to get more money back from this. Charmeleon, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Pikachu, Reverse Hollow Eevee, and Erica's Hospitality. Pack, uh, this is the third from the last. Pack number four. Four, five, six. No, 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 that's not pack number four. This is pack number five, right? Yeah, this is pack number five. Doing my math wrong, sorry guys. You can go to the chocolate factory now. <laughs> that's a good comment. Metapod, you got the golden ticket. Eevee, Clefairy, oops, Clefairy. Caterpie, Ekans. Dude! This was such a good box, my man. You just made all your money back. Umbreon and Tapu Coco. This is like the third best card to get pulled. You just got all your money back from that first box and the second box. Very good. I've still never pulled an Embryon myself. Umbreon, Embryon, <laughs> an Embryo. I've still never pulled an Embryo myself. <laughs> Very good box. Holy cow, man. Lieutenant Surge's strategy. Those are so rare. I've only ever, I've only seen the Umbreon pulled twice. Nice electric energy. Let's see if I have electric energy. I'm gonna offer you a trade if if I don't have the electric energy. I'm gonna offer you a trade. I do actually. <laughs> Oop. All right. You want to pull an embryo? Just use protection. Who has seven online GX cards? What? Seven Onyx GX card, that's what I meant. All right, last pack. What is it for grading? Uh, the grading has changed is $18 if the card is worth under $100, and then I believe $32 if it's worth over $100. One of the reasons why it went up in price is because I wasn't calculating how much it cost for me to ship to you. I was going with the lowest price for shipping for me to return ship it, but then again, I realized I might wanna add signature and insurance to the uh, return shipping myself. So they do insurance on their shipping, I might want to add it as well. And the reason why is because you might actually have a card in the pack worth like $285, like this Umbreon. And I, you know, I don't want it to get lost because then I'll be the one paying for it if it does get lost. So it is a little bit more than it was before. It's still a fairly good price for uh, grading, especially the ones that are under $100, because you would normally pay about $28 to have those shipped uh, graded anyways, and I'm offering $18 to grade them. Charmeleon, Chansey, Ekans. Let's finish this pack. I just casually go back to counting the cards. Jigglypuff. Dude, you got the best box in the whole freaking world. They were all hiding here. Are you kidding me? You made money tonight, I bet. Dude. Hold on. You just pulled... Look at what you just pulled out of one box. Lycanroc, Umbreon, Tapu Coco, and Gardevoir in one box. Jesus Christ. Let's say these all... Uh, well, this one as a raw card is probably worth about 30 and this one as a raw card is probably worth about 40. So just between these two, that's probably about $70. These two are probably worth about $15 each. So between 70 on these and 15 on these, this is probably about $100 of Pokemon cards right here. And if these come back tens, this guy might be worth about 250. This guy might be worth about 250. If they came back tens, that is. I don't know if they'll come back tens. Very good pulls. Jesus Christ, man. Mahasvara, happy he made a purchase today. Let's put the best one in the front. I suspect it's the Umbreon. You would think it's the Tapu Coco. Wait, I, is it the Tapu Coco or is it the Umbreon? Here, let's look it up. I'm going to look it up because, you know, they shift over time. I'm going to go, I'm going to be using TCG pricing. TGC price guide is not as accurate as actually looking at the market, but it's a good estimate. It's a fairly good estimate because it, uh, it, it, I think it lags, I think, but uh, not by too much. Hidden Fates, dude, you got such good pulls tonight. 
Oh, come on. Okay. That's weird. It's not showing all the cards. What? They're not showing all the cards off. Their price guide doesn't... Oh, 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 oh. Is this what's going on? Whoa, they created a second set of uh, cards. Okay, so here's the, the grading for them. It says the Umbreon's worth about 25, actually. And the Tapu Coco's worth about 20. So that's what the, uh, that's what the, the price guide says. Okay, interesting. That's still pretty good, though. That's 45 between the two. And uh, I feel like the price guide tends to under they underestimate the value of the card because when you actually go out into the market and look for them, uh, a pack fresh Umbreon and a pack fresh Tapu Coco, one you would actually send off to be uh, uh, graded, typically costs more than one that was already played with by a kid. Because, you know, kids open these and they play with them. Sadly, they do. Uh, and that lowers the price of the card. And then those also go into the market to be sold. And what's going on is TCG Price Guide is pulling straight inf data straight from the market, and it's not making that difference between the truly mint cards and the played with cards. It's not making that difference. It's not measuring for it. All right. Crazy, dude. That's uh, some of the best pulls we've seen in a while, actually. Holy cow. Man, four four shinies in seven packs. What the? And one of them's Umbreon, and another one is Tapu Coco. Like Jesus Christ. So that would be eighty six dollars for grading the the full art, four full arts. Contact me in private, Mahasvara. It, you will actually, unfortunately, you'll you'll probably have to pay for the over hundred dollar grading because some of these cards are worth over a hundred dollars. The Umbreon and the Coco for sure are worth over a hundred. What PCA says when you try to choose a cheaper option for grading, they say, a uh, warning, if you try to choose the lower option and we determine that the value of your card is over that, then we charge you anyways, or we, we send your card back. So they say, we'll charge you over that amount if we determine you're wrong. I mean, I could try to sneak it by them. Do you want me to do that? Oops, I ran out of room there. Maybe we should try to sneak it by them, see what happens. No, come on. They do this professionally. There's no way. They would catch it. They would be like, uh, nope. This card is currently going for way more than that. Okay. What the hell? Man, those are some crazy pulls. Jesus. Was this a premium powers box? It was, Adam. And Mahasvara pulled Tapu Koko, Umbreon, Shiny Gardevoir, and Shiny Lycanroc all in one box. It was nuts. Uh, I still have these three, by the way, and and then I'm officially out. But I don't, I don't even know if somebody would want these three packs. I have these three loose packs. Rand Missiel says I got an Umbreon from that box as well. Whew! Jesus. I feel like we had a good live stream. It actually lasted an hour and thirteen minutes. Well, Kiba says, how much? I need to get rid of this bad luck. Um, let me do an, uh, let me add them together. It'll be about $18 for the three of these. Yeah. $18 for the three of these. 205 says 69. Uh, 69 for what? For, for grading the two cards back here? 69. I don't think it would be straight 69, would it? I'm trying to remember what. I quoted it to you earlier, didn't I? Did I say 32? I think I said 32. PSA grading. Oh, no, wait, that's PSA graded. Grading requests. Uh, for the two cards, it would be 64. Oh, he's trolling, I see. That's a joke number, you boomer. I thought he was being serious. All right. So what just happened? Wellix purchased these last three packs right away. Wow. Crazy. How are we out of all the packs? I don't know what to do. I'm losing my mind. Wellix Redemption or Darkrai? 
Whoa, what if I put together like 36 Hidden Fates packs and we did like a um, Hidden Fates booster box? Oh man, that'd be crazy. Next stream, Game Economist is going to start selling himself. That's right, you can get a piece of this action for free. Farfetched, Brock's Pewter City Gym, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Magikarp, Oops, Pichu, Pikachu, Full Tour, Reverse Hollow Jinx, and Bill's Analysis. Uh oh. <laughs> Next pack. There's only three packs, and, and two of them were Hidden Fates. Keep in mind, Mahas Far pulled a seven packs that did not have any full arts before before he pulled any full uh, full arts. I can't speak. Psyduck, Staryu, Clefairy, Slowpoke, Pikachu, Shiny Rock Ruff. I've actually never pulled this. Have I pulled this? Maybe I've pulled it for someone else. All right, so you got the Rock Ruff. There you go, man. I was a little worried for you. Not bad. Let's see if you got anything in the Burning Shadows. You know, this is funny. This is the very last pack of Burning Shadows. So if something special comes out here, it's going to be really crazy. This was the leftover pack. <laughs> All right, we got Electric Energy. Olivia's looking pretty good. Look at Olivia. She takes care of her body. She works out. That's good. Healthy. Lunatone. Oh, no. Plumeria is an omen. Cutie Fly. Dewpider. Here you go, well, it's a little dark for you. <laughs> Wimpod, Meowth, Reverse Hollow Tangrowth, and... Oh, Turtonator! Damn it, it's a Turtonator. Non-Hollow Turtonator. Plumeria cursed it, Wellix. I could feel it. I felt I felt her cursed energy. Let's see, were you in this pile? Did you buy any other cards tonight? I feel like you did. Tony, Tony, Tony. I thought you did buy some other cards tonight. That was Sora, and that was Metalax. Oh, maybe this is your first one tonight. Meld those cards for better decorations. <laughs> Burn the witch! See if she floats. Rock Ruff is going in there. That's your best pull. Plumeria gets philosophical on your pulls. You wish. She doesn't even get philosophical. Plumeria's not into philosophy. She's into social justice. It's all over her face. She's always angry. She's showing off her belly button. This is for Wellix. Shred her. Oh, actually, he wanted two other things. I can't remember. Was it these? Onyx. 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 You're just taking all my onyxes. That's what's happening, by the way. Oh, he wanted the Brock's Grit. I bet... G I only show my belly button off to my lover. My lovers. Lovers, plural. Chansey. Rhyhorn. Graveler. Do you just like rock Pokemon in general, or is it specifically a Steelix? Wait. I think what I'm looking for is over here. What went wrong with the human race? <laughs> the human race was always wrong, man. We were always animals. We came right out of nature. Animals eat each other. You think that they, you don't have rape in the animal kingdom? I bet most of the sex in the animal kingdom is something similar to rape. You think the animals are like, uh, can you sign this consent form? Hell no. Nobody in the animal kingdom says that. And we came right out of it. We got our big old brains, and we're like, ooh, you know, everything is bad to us now. We're, we're, I tell you what, the problem with, the problem with the left today is that they're what the conservatives used to be in the past. The left today is the old conservative right, the religious conservative right, and they want you to live by their rules. They want you to feel bad and immoral, and I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to feel bad about anything. What happened to the Brock? I thought I just pulled a Brock. Oh, it's right over here. I feel attacked and understood at the same time. They're the new moralistic political party that says uh, God doesn't want you to do that. Except their God is something they've read out of a social justice book in college. So it's a little different. Okay, you got all kinds of Brocks. You got Brock's training, Onyx, 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 Brock's grit. You can have all of them. You got the Brock's badge coming your way, I think. So here you go, Wellix, and you get the, put, pop this in here. This is the TGC, I know, the deep conversations. 
They want to tell you how to live. They want to tell you how to think. You know who used to do that? The conservatives used to do that. Now it's the Democrats. The Democrats are just as moralistic as the Christian conservatives used to be. They're just on the other side. Whew. I'm keeping your plumeria for study. Sim Symphonia says, you tell them. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, man. <laughs> See, now I got my Monster Hunter Energy tip. <laughs> what happened to Emma? Rip Emma. Fans the new Emma since she's never here anymore. Ah, She'll probably come back. You know, I think people take breaks sometimes from my content uh, or they have something else going on in their life that's important. Uh, and they, you know, if they left not having any fights with me or anything, they usually come back one day. You can't watch Pokemon cards every day religiously unless you could. Well, Miles Faro got such good pulls. I'm thirsty for some pulls. What do you guys think? One more tin? I could save the tin. Or I could open the tin. Oh, yeah. This tin's for me. Bonus tin right at the end. Bonus tin. One more tin. Just one more. Just one more. Oh, God. Here we go, guys. Get ready. Auction the tin off. Hmm, that would be interesting. Oops. I don't think I want to sell any of the tins. I think the tins are going to be the thing that I open. I, I mean, I just... I did the uh, power, premium power things, and Mahas Vara got some really good pulls out of there. I mean, I haven't even pulled an Umbreon from these tins. He got better pulls than I did. Apparently, you want the... Uh, I, I'm sure it's all just random, guys. People with addiction be like, just one more. Just one more puff. Just one more smoke. Can't let that madman get any more pulls. <laughs> Mahasvara, he did the work, guys. He put in the hours, and now he's rich. Rich with Pokemon cards. My addiction is that I need them all. That Umbreon is probably the best pull I've had. Nice, man. It's a really good pull. He's the fourth most valuable Hidden Fates card. Uh, the top three are Charizard, Cynthia, and Tapu... Um, Tapu something. Tapu Finny, I think? Tapu Finny. One, two, three, four. I've learned a lot, by the way, about the Pokemon cards. The next time a really popular set like this one comes out, we're just going to go deep, man. We're going to buy them off of eBay, overpriced. We're going to open them up real fast, not slow at all. We're going to open them all real fast. We're going to send them off to grading like the same day they're going to be sent off to grading. Because what happens is when a set's real popular, apparently Nintendo reprints the set. And then the value of your cards fall because that's inflation. It's exactly the same way. Oops. Where's the energy? It's exactly the same way inflation works. All right, we got a rare card in the front, which means the very last card is going to be... The very last card is going to be the uh, the shiny, right? Jigglypuff, Ekans, Coughing. Here we go. Shiny Altaria. I'll take it. Have I pulled shiny Altaria? I don't think I have. I'll take it. All right, throw this to the side. Oh man, we're running through our pack holders so fast. Altaria, beautiful. I'll put this into the auctions. How about that? You want a chance to win the Altaria? She's beautiful. She is beautiful, beautiful. When I was young, I was Catholic, because I had to be, and we had an Irish priest, and he would say beautiful. He wouldn't say beautiful. He had a like an Irish accent or something. He'd say beautiful. Caterpie. Ekans. Shiny Rockruff and Starmie. Get out of here, Starmie. Starmie's okay. But I wouldn't invite Starmie to any of my parties. Rockruff, on the other hand, is legit. Rockruff, he's a cool dude. Did you just assume that Altaria's gender? I might have. I might have just assumed Altaria's gender. Did you just assume my gender? Man, what is with people? All right, here we go. 
Brock's Grit, Kogus Trap, Misty Cerulean City Gym, Cubone, Geodude, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Jigglypuff, Reverse Hollow Scyther, and Jolteon. Boop. Boop. All right, so we got the Altaria and the Rock Ruff from that tin. That's not a bad tin. It's not an amazing tin either. Not as good as what this guy got. What the hell? Woo! Oh, the pulls tonight. So many pulls. So many beautiful pulls. What do I do now, guys? We're out. You know what I should do? I should take my bulk Pokemon cards that I would send off. But instead, I should make like a big bonfire and just burn the whole lot. And see how long it burns. Fan says, let's shred that Umbreon. Oh, man. I would have to refund Mahasvara a lot of money, probably. I think I'd have to refund Mahasvara, like, at least the worth of the card. <laughs> Pokemon withdrawal incoming. <laughs> um, I mean, I have the tins over there, but if you guys wanted to buy the tins, I can, I'm can. i already going to tell you I'm going to oversell them to you. I'm going to, like, inflate the price just because I don't want to sell them. I don't actually want to sell the tins. Uh, you're better off by, well, I don't know. How much do the tins cost online? Let's see how much they cost. You're better off buying the tin online, probably. Hidden face. Well, that's the thing. Even if even if I found them cheap online, I would still sell. I, I don't want to have to buy them. I think, I don't even know what the reprinted tins, you know, what their value is. So let's see what the cost of this is real fast. Okay, bulk tin. We got, they're, they're being sold in all kinds of ways. Yeah, you don't want to buy them from me. Interesting. Can you tell the difference in the reprinted tins? Uh, I cannot tell the difference in the reprinted tins, but I'm sure Pokemon keeps printing these, uh, and I don't know what to tell you. I'm not interested in the reprinted ones as much. I don't know why. Maybe you are. What do you guys think? We end up here? We wrap up here? You want to see some of my cool cards? What are your best cards? What are your best Pokemon? Ooh, I'm so happy with these Pokemon. Look at these Pokemon. Look at these Pokemon. Oh man, this should be on top. I love this card. Shiny Tyranitar. And Rocket's Mewtwo. Ooh, what if we auctioned off the Rocket's Mewtwo? That's a fancy card. Would you guys be interested in this card? Damn, that's a fancy card. I, I think that would be a risky auction because he would have to sell for quite a lot for me to get my money back. He would have to sell for too much. Stop card flexing. Oh, you know, I don't have that many cards. I bet guys like Leonhardt are swimming swimming in valuable cards. Here's my uh, incomplete Team Rocket set. I can't really work on it right now. I'm um, helping my wife with purchasing a retirement home for her parents, and then we're going to sell their main home, try to get some of the money we lost over the last year. We did some math. So far, we have lost uh, $7,000 to her parents. Uh, in, in just loans, and that does not include the interest that we lost. We lost interest because the $7,000 should have gone toward like our debts, and we pay interest on our debts every month. So $7,000 plus whatever it's going to cost to get them moved, because once, once we have purchased the new home, we're going to be paying taxes on that. There's going to be a closing cost to that. There's going to be a closing cost to the main home. There's all this work that has to be done. And those are like work hours that aren't counted. It's, it's pretty tough. Yeah, it's a lot of money. Um, but, you know, what, are, what else are we going to do? Tell them to go be homeless. Tell the mom to die. By the way, the mom recovered from cancer. Uh, for, for those of you who didn't know, uh, her mom has been told that she has recovered from cancer. Uh, she has to go get like two checkups a year, I think, minimum, to see if it returns. But uh, apparently the chemotherapy worked. And she also had surgery to remove a bunch of like lymph nodes or something like that. I don't know how it all works, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been pretty rough. 
Could they have rented part of the house for income? They could have, but we didn't want them to because we don't trust them to not be taken advantage of and we don't know how well they would handle that. So it's better for us to move them into kind of like a cheap small home and lower their, uh, their cost of living that way. And then to try and sell the larger home for whatever we can to cover the purchase of the small home and to cover all the debt that's accrued from all of the hospital bills. And uh, I mean, to be honest with interest, it's probably closer to like 8,000, 8,500 that we've given them. There is, it's just like an opportunity cost of having them sit on our money rather than putting our money toward our debts that we pay interest on. So it's really like, you know what I mean? It's really rough. There's, there's probably other things we don't even know about. It, it, it's not like we've kept cl close accounting of most of it. The big things we kept accounting of is each month we were giving them like $950. So it's, uh, yeah, it's not fun. Save up for your retirement. <laughs> Save up for your retirement so you're not in their shoes and you don't have to ask your kids for help because that's the other thing. There's like, there's like a lot of damage done to your relationship that you have with your parents when you have to when they have to like beg you for money, it's not good. So you don't want to be in that position. Uh, you want to have some means to take care of yourself by. So you should always be like thinking about how can I invest my money? Uh, you know, part of the Pokemon cards for me is I, I do actually treat the cards like an investment. Like these, you guys have heard about this, these uh, vintage boxes. I really do think the vintage boxes will move up in uh, price over time. And that's why I ended up buying one or two because if people just keep opening them, they're going to become rarer and rarer, and that should drive the cost up. It's not just the rocket boxes, by the way, all vintage boxes. Anytime, so let's say, you know, like a Neo Genesis box gets opened. Well, guess what? Now the price of the next Neo Genesis box is going to go up to like 10000 Well, when the price is at 10000 people who like to open up vintage boxes, aka YouTubers who do this for a living, they're going to look around and be like, oh, the Team Rocket boxes are a little cheaper than that, and people will watch that, so they'll buy a Rocket box next. See, so even when other vintage boxes are opened, the price of the vintage the price of the vintage boxes that you do own is going to shift upward, in my opinion. And my expert financial advisor, uh, financial uh, analyst uh, opinion, <laughs> financial analyst, yeah, right. <laughs> my expert opinion, um, yeah, that's my feelings on it. The Hidden Fates cards. I think that once these are out of print, we will have a better idea of how much they're all worth. But my guess already, a lot. Uh, the fact that they reprinted them already is, even though it lowers the cost of them now, is a very good sign that these are going to remain in demand, in my opinion. And once most of the hidden fates have been opened and the people who are sitting on probably investment stock, once their price has gone up high enough, I think you'll see like sort of this equilibrium between the supply and demand reach a point where you can reliably sell PSA cards from that set. <laughs> Twerking man says, hope everyone's okay. Oh, in my, in my family? Yeah, it's, it's pretty rough. It, it really stresses, it actually stresses my wife out the most because then she has to go back to her parents and be like, look, you owe us like $7,000 and it, they have like an income. This is the frustrating part. They actually have an income. Uh, but it's so poorly managed that they run out of it and then they come to us and for money, asking for money. And, uh, you know, they've borrowed a great deal of money. Uh, she's back, the mother's back from her cancer treatment. We've saved their home. They were going to lose their home. Uh, and now we're like, okay, can you help us back out with the all this money that you've borrowed? Um, and, and that's hard for my wife to even have to do, to have to be in sort of like a conflict, you know, like, because... The mom wants to pay us back, and the dad, you can kind of tell he doesn't. He's like dancing around it, you know? He doesn't want to pay any of it back, probably, because that's kind of how he, that's his personality. He's like, oh, you can give us some money, and then uh, fine, you know, and I'm out of here. <laughs> so he kind of has that personality. Life is tough, and I dread when I will be in those sort of situations. Well, funny enough, I think most problems in life boil down to how much money do you have, and when you have enough money to take care of yourself, life gets a lot easier. So everyone should always be looking for what are your strengths and your talents? How do I put them to use? How do I solve problems for people? Uh, and go make some money and go invest some money. Actually, this is a topic I was talking about for my main channel. I invested some money in Capcom because they make the game I play, Monster Hunter. And I actually ended up having like a 30% return rate on that investment. It was really above the market. That it did really well. It's really, um, it's very exciting. 
Christian Lindemann says, if anyone wants to watch the 22nd Mewtwo CGI movie for nostalgia reasons, GoGo -Go Anime has the film. Uh-oh. Was I supposed to say that? Am I allowed to? I'm guessing that's not a legal site. <laughs> They're probably stealing it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, the cards are a lot of fun and uh, things are looking better for, I mean, once we have all the house situations sorted out, I think at that point, things will settle down and become a lot easier for us. And it's another year, time to get those student loans hammered down. Um, I think that we're doing okay on the student loans, but we'd be doing much better if we weren't helping our parents. You have stock in Capcom? I do actually. Yeah, I bought some Capcom stock. Why did I buy Capcom stock rather than putting my money toward my student debt? Because the student debt interest rate is 4%, whereas the stock market has been going around uh, 11 to 15%. Uh, of returns. So I, if I had taken the same amount of money that I put into Capcom stock and instead I'd used that money to pay my student loans, I would have actually lost money. So I put it in the stock market in this case rather than paying the student loans because the interest rate is lower than the uh, what you're earning in the stock market. Of course, that's a gamble, but it was, in my case, it was a winning gamble because I got such a high return. Where do I go buy stock? From the stock market? You can't buy it yourself. You need a stock broker. Uh, to get a stock broker, a very easy way to do that is to just open up an account with, you know, like a known online stock brokering company like E-Trade is what I'm using. Of course, I did that because I've used E-Trade in the past before. Uh, basically, they will charge you, I think it's $7 on E-Trade. They will charge you $7 to have them go purchase stock for you. Yeah. This is the important stuff. Like, they probably teach you all kinds of things you don't need to know in school, like, they teach you biology you don't need to know. They teach you chemistry. I, I mean, you're not going to become a biologist. You're not going to become a chemist. They teach you physics that you don't need to know. They're interesting subjects. You should want to know them, but you don't have to pay to know those things. You can look it up online. You can go read a book. And the things you really do need to know, you need to know how to open up a stock brokerage account. It's very easy, by the way. It's very similar to opening up a bank account. You need to know how to do that, and then you need to know that you can go buy stock, which is ownership in a company. And buying stock in a company is way better than buying, I don't know, Pizza Hut for the night. See? Middleman, why don't they let me buy directly? Uh, they aren't actually a middleman. Ar uh, it's Arson, right? Yeah, Arson. They're not actually a middleman. The reason you can't buy the stock directly is because you actually uh, would... I don't think they would even let you do that. I'm pretty sure you can't just be an individual and go buy stock. They're like, are you licensed to buy stock? And you'd go say... Nah, I'm just some random dude, and they'd be like, we're not selling to you. So I'm pretty sure you would, I'm pretty sure stockbrokers are here to stay. I could be wrong about that. There might be a type of stock that you can buy directly without having a stockbroker negotiate the deal, but stocks are negotiated for, do you understand? So you don't, it's, it's not like the company just posted the stock like a soda bottle and you just go buy the soda bottle. It's not like that. The stock market moves throughout the day, and the stockbroker, he negotiates to get the price that you asked for. See what I'm saying? So there's, there's people who are selling their stocks and there's people who are buying the stocks at the same time. So he, he finds a seller and he says, I'll buy some of those stocks at the amount that my client wanted. So he's not a, he's not a middleman. He's actually providing a service. Whoa, how did this stream turn into a finance stream? I was never told how to adult, so I'm 19 and broke. 19's not too old, uh, but you're never too old to start investing. The sooner you start investing your money, the wealthier you're going to be when you're old. Unlucky for me... I have not started investing until I was like 29, I guess, last year. So uh, get started now. You're ahead of me. If you're already old and you haven't invested any money, there's still time to invest money. I mean, the stock market now is doing well. If you're scared about the stock market doing poorly in the future, which, you know, could, it could crash someday, buy bonds. Bonds don't have as good of returns. The return is like 4%, but it's still 4%, which is better than the banks. The banks usually give you like a 0.02%. Uh, on your on your uh, money that you're storing. So if you did nothing but go buy bonds, you would still make more money. You just wouldn't make as much as you would if you were good at investing in the stock market. I'm investing in my education. <laughs> Do you get money for sell stocks? Does it go to an account? Do you get money for selling stocks? Does it go to an account? Yes. So if you own stock and you tell your, your stock broker to sell your stocks, he will sell them at the price that you asked him to sell them for. Uh, assuming that the market buys them, you will then get the cash for those stocks. That's what happens. But sometimes the market, the value of the stock moves down when you try to sell it. If the value of the stock moves down, he's not going to be able to sell it at the price that you asked for. So he will come back and be like, I couldn't sell it. 
All right, yeah, it's past my bedtime too, actually. I should probably wrap up. <laughs> Maybe we'll have like a stock investment stream for fun and we'll like look up some fun articles. I don't know. What do you guys think of that? Stock investment stream on uh, maybe my main channel. I don't know. <laughs> it's a fun, it's a fun art, uh, fun, fun topic in my opinion. Everyone wants to be wealthy, don't you? I want to be wealthy. Do you guys want to be wealthy? Gosh, the Democrats want you to feel shameful for being for wanting to be uh, wealthy. You should, you should never feel ashamed for wanting to be wealthy. The Democrats want you to feel embarrassed and, and ashamed of it. That's how they they treat the wealthy like they're the bad guys. Wealthy people are just people. They're not evil. But they talk about wealthy people like they're straight up evil. And it's awful. Anyways, third channel? Nah, I'm not going to start a third channel. That's too many channels. All right, let's wrap things up here. I'm going to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.